So in this video, we are asked to prove that that G B a finite group for all A and B in G show that A times B and B times A, B times A have the same order as elements of G. This is um, in a certain way a bit surprising that any two elements uh, uh, if a times b have a certain order, b times a will have the same order. Uh, please note that the group has not to be a billion. Okay, we are talking about any finite group. Okay, let us give a proof for this. So, all we need that the elements of these two sets where AB is the set generated by AB okay meaning AB to the power of K so AB K times or K operation times because we don't know what the operation is such that K is an integer and BA the set generated by BA 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 to the power of K such that K is an integer we have to show that these two sets, they have the same size. Okay, if we manage to prove that these two sets have the same size, then it is proved that the order of AB and the order of BA um, is the same. Well, uh, how can that be done? Well, easy. We only have to find a bijection from the set BA to the set AB. If we manage to find a bijection, oh, sorry, um, okay, if we manage to find a bijection phi from BA to AB, if it is a bijection, they have to have the same size. Okay. Okay. So what I say is that the, 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 the mapping phi that I used in the previous video for the automorphism, so phi, uh, it was phi of G H, phi G of H, where uh, so this was H here, G, G inverse, okay? So I claim that this phi, that it was proved in a previous video, is a bijective uh, mapping in the group G. So this was from G to G. So this is proved, this is a bijection, just check the previous video, okay? So I claim that this is the bijection we need between these two um, uh, sets. Okay, let us check if that is true. Okay, so what, well, I have to change the letters here, right? But, okay, no need. Okay, this was, this letters were used in the previous videos. Okay, but it's the same. So what is phi of A? If I put, so this is from BA, right? From BA to the power of K. Okay, so what is phi of A here? That will be B of A K, right? G, so here we'll have A and here A inverse, right? Okay, but that is nothing else but a b to the power of k, a a inverse. You are in a group, so you can associate terms. Okay, so you will end up with a b, since it's obvious that this is the identity. Okay, so we took b a, we took b a, and we got a b to the power of k th that this one belongs to this set okay so i just need to prove that phi 
is a map because it is proved in the previous video that this phi is a bijection okay so phi here is a bijection too. but if you want just rewatch my previous video and you can easily uh, check that it is injective and subjective okay so the injection is too easy you might have some problems on the subjection maybe but that's not hard to because if you get so you have um, any element um, yes any element a b any of these elements a b to the power of k right where this one belongs to the set a b um, is every single uh, image a mapping from b a well yes any a b will be in the form phi of a b a to the power of k right and this concludes the proof so at the end of the day if you already have this tool that phi is this phi this mapping is a bijection this proof uh, really takes two steps and it is done so in a finite group for all elements a and b and g uh, the order of a b will be always equal to the order of b a